Have you ever gone into DaVinci, typed in Ultra Key, and then get a blank screen and be all like, When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Well, today I'm going to show you how to green screen in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so here I am in DaVinci Resolve. You can see I've got some quality green screen content right here. The type of quality you can find for free on the internet with just a little bit of research. Now, if you actually want to find this yourself, you can go ahead to the great and epic top 30 green screen effects. If you click on this, you'll find all sorts of amazing stock footage featuring a rotoscope windmill, not to mention a realistic muzzle flash with a gun and whatever this is. Now, I know I'm joking a lot, but actually, uh, this channel's really cool. Green screen animation. You should actually go sub to it. It's pretty cool. There we go. I just subbed right now. Uh, they actually make a lot of cool stuff here. Um, for example, here's some free subscribe buttons uh, and animations for your own YouTube channel. So it's really cool. So anyway, let's get back into my, my tutorial. Okay, so we got this astronaut right here. And we want to put him in space because that's where he belongs. So obviously, you've probably tried going to your effects library, searching Ultra Key, nothing comes up. So what you actually want to do is click on it and go into your color tab. Now here in the color tab, you want to click on your qualifier here. Uh, this uh, tool basically will isolate and mask out certain parts of your image based on color. However, um, there's separate uh, tabs here under the qualifier. Click on the last one. That is actually a built-in keyer, which will make it super easy for green screen. Um, so, as soon as you're in this tab, if you click and drag anywhere, you can highlight your green screen. The cool thing about this compared to Premiere Pro is you can actually drag a line and take multiple samples of green uh, instead of just one and that will work a lot better than uh, just taking one sample in Premiere Pro. So go ahead and uh, drag uh, many samples of your green screen, let it go and you can see up here it's masked out the astronaut here um, but we're not seeing anything so if you turn on this button it'll show your masks. Now right now it's cutting out the astronaut. That's not what we want. So what you want to do is go over to here and click this. This is the invert button. It'll invert your mask and there you go. Now you can see it's cut out the green. Now you can see there's a huge green outline here. Click this despill option. All right. And you can see it gets rid of that. Now there is still this kind of ugly gray line around it. So you can mess with these options right here in an out ratio. will kind of trim it down a little bit. You can see it's thinning out the border. Um, and then you can also denoise if there's a ton of like staticky noise um, from just highlighting the green screen. Uh, that'll have a denoise filter. You can even blur it a little bit. Um, I'm not 100% sure what these two options do, and I know there's some more options over here, but these will get the uh, basics here. Um, so yeah, and then also if you click again, you can add to your green screen and take more samples. So you can just see it made another one, um, and then also it will uh, you can turn them on and off separately. Okay, however, if we jump into our edit page here, you can see we get this ugly brown background. That's because it needs an actual alpha channel. So if we go to the color page, right here, this is our node editor. Make sure your node editor is open. If you haven't been in the color page before, basically, this is our color correction. This is our green screen effect. The problem is a green screen has an alpha output, and alpha is transparency. And the problem is this doesn't have an, a transparency output right now. This is just RGB right here. So if we right-click and add an alpha output, then drag this blue tab. This blue tab is the transparency. And drag that to our alpha output. Now if we go back to our edit page, our astronaut is in space. And that's how you green screen in Premiere Pro. No, wait, this is DaVinci. So anyways, I hope this helped out a lot of Premiere Pro users. Uh, DaVinci Resolve is really awesome. I'm starting to get used to it, and it's cool. I am uploading a ton of tutorials here, so please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and also hit that bell. It's really important. So anyways, I hope this helped. Go make something great. Also, also I have an outro, uh, and you can see there's a big uh, subscribe button with a bunch of cubes rotating around it. 
you should press it.